This video will describe how to tune the Daniels Electronics MT4E receiver RF preselector. The RF preselector may be tuned several different ways. The preferred method is to sweep the RF preselector using a tracking generator and spectrum analyzer. The alternate method is to tune the RF preselector for best synad response. The alternate method should only be used for single frequency receivers. The following tools will be required to tune the RF preselector. A small, slot-bladed screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, SMB to BNC adapter, EC48RD extender card, tuning tool, RF cables and adapters if needed, and a spectrum analyzer with tracking generator capability. For this demonstration, we will be using an Aeroflex IFR3900 series communications test set. The receiver contains electrostatic discharge sensitive components. Appropriate ESD precautions should be observed while handling the unit. To begin, ensure that the subrack has power by turning the speaker switch on the system regulator to the on position and checking that the LED turns on. Turn the four quick release fasteners on the receiver 90 degrees counterclockwise to release them. Remove any RJ45 cables or RF cables connected to the receiver. Pull the receiver out of the subrack. Removing the cover of the receiver requires four Phillips screws to be removed from the front panel of the receiver, as well as two Phillips screws from the side of the receiver. Two screw holes on the side of the receiver are not used. Slide the cover off of the receiver. The RF preselector output is a small RF cable internal in the receiver that terminates in an SMB connector. The SMB plugs into J3 on the receiver mainboard. Disconnect the SMB cable from J3 and attach the SMB to BNC adapter. Connect the receiver to the subrack using an extender card. Ensure that the extender card is inserted in the inside rail of the extrusion for the receiver. The outside rail is for the transmitter. Plug the extender card into the subrack until the card seats properly in the subrack connector. Pull the extrusion out slightly and slide the receiver mainboard into the same rail as the extender card. Ensure that the front panel switch on the receiver is in the normal position. Connect the tracking generator output to the RF input of the receiver. Connect the RF preselector output from the adapter to the input port of the spectrum analyzer. Set up the spectrum analyzer as shown, with the tracking generator output at a level of minus 30 dBm, a span of 10 to 20 MHz, and the center frequency at the desired RF frequency. Remove the five dust caps from the variable capacitors on the RF preselector. Adjust the variable capacitors to tune the RF preselector. There is no specific sequence to tune the capacitors. If a capacitor is turned clockwise, all of the capacitors should be turned the same way for proper tuning. All of the capacitors should be at approximately the same depth within the cavity when properly tuned. If they are not, there is likely a problem. Try to achieve a flat 5 or 7 MHz bandpass filter shape centered around your RF frequency as seen here. If it is a multiple channel receiver, ensure all frequencies are within the bandpass filter. Once the RF preselector is properly tuned, replace the dust caps. Remove the RF cables from the RF input and RF preselector output. Remove the receiver and extender card from the subrack. Remove the SMB to BNC adapter from the RF preselector output and reconnect the SMB plug into J3 on the receiver mainboard. Replace the receiver cover by sliding the receiver mainboard into the far left slot in the cover. Replace the four front panel screws and the two side panel screws. Slide the receiver back into the subrack and turn the four quick release fasteners on the receiver 90 degrees counterclockwise to tighten them. 
reconnect any RJ45 or RF cables to the receiver. The MT4E receiver RF pre-selector should now be properly tuned. Coden Radio Communications. Be heard. We go where you go to ensure your people will always be heard.